A warm welcome to everyone. My name is Hemika and I represent ViewSonic India. I welcome you all in today's meet. It's a pleasure to connect with GEG educators and other educators out there. As trainers, we are constantly looking forward to uh, uh, develop our skills so that we can uh, deliver best to our students. And I think in today's time, when the world is talking about hybrid learning, we all as teachers have been evolving and have been trying our best to learn the technology today so that we can deliver the best of the content and learning experience to our students. So I here take pleasure to welcome GEG teams of Ahmedabad and Pune, head by Dr. Vishal Barya and Reshma Ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us. And we also have their team who has joined us today who would love to talk about the interactivity of a panel called My View Board. So My View Board uh, is a panel. It's, it's, a, it's a software that can be installed in uh, any platform, be it the interactive panel, your desktop, your laptop, or mobile phone. And it also helps the teachers and educators to create content and deliver content across the students. Now, here, I think panel like this or technology like this has broke all the barriers of teaching because now we have been into the hybrid learning models. You know, I have Reshma Ma'am who have joined us today from US who is helping us out today. So I think the geographical barriers have been broken thanks to the technology these days. And the way that, uh, you know, the technology has been transformed or the way Teachers have taken the initiative, educators have taken the initiative to deliver best to the students is commendable. Thank you so much, teachers, for taking our time for this session. So now, uh, I, ma'am, uh, Reshma, ma'am, uh, Dr. Vishal Varya, along with their uh, team would like to discuss with us how we can use this amazing panel called My View Board to tra train our students different subjects. So for instance, today the topic of discussion is maths and science. Let us uh, see from the experts themselves how they would like to use the software to make their sessions engaging. Over to you, teachers. Thank you, Hamika. Uh, welcome one and all for today's session. Uh, this is Dr. Vishal Varya, uh, leader for GG Ahmedabad, and I'm um, joined by Reshma, leader from GG Pune. She is from California. And we are all here to share with you another great tool that we have come across, uh, that is My View Board. And we are so fascinated to use this tool uh, in a classroom, in a virtual classroom, and it's really engaging. So, uh, Reshma, uh, what would you say for My View Board? Hello, and first of all, uh, welcome to all the teachers who are joining us today and my team, GTAP, who is back in my country. So just like Hemika said, the online and the virtual learning has broken all the barriers of connectivity amongst us. And now uh, when we talk about uh, teaching and learning, looking into the way education system is going further, I think having a virtual whiteboard that can help us deliver all sorts of lessons that we were able to do in the classroom, as well as go a step beyond and uh, do things that were not possible in person. So any student who is not in the classroom and still wants to learn, a teacher has a flexibility to have a virtual whiteboard that can deliver exactly the lesson that we do in the classroom. So I'm excited. I tried a few things. I'm a math educator myself. And I was excited to see a lot of different things that my view board offers uh, that can help my students and um, change the way I teach some of the topics. So I'll be discussing about math. And uh, so I'm, I'm excited to begin the session. So we are really happy to see all the educators joining from different parts of the world. We have educators joining from Philippines, from US, uh, from Brazil, from Malaysia, from India, of course major educators from India. And uh, believe me, this session is not, not going to be just a one-way session. It's going to be a very engaging session. We have got some very good engagement activities for you all today. 
Uh, we have Dipti Ma'am and Pal Ma'am from JJ Ahmedabad who are going to take us with some engaging activities right now. So Dipti Ma'am and Pal Ma'am, let us go with the activity. Hello everyone, welcome to all this session and we are here for engaging activity or we can say the warm up activity because the day is going down and we are so tired. So let's get some energized. I just share my screen. Okay, is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, so today we are come up with the musical warm up activity, and uh, this in this activity you have to guess the song that is related to any topic. So first is a uh, first is a song that related to very famous festival of India. It is sang by the famous actor, and the movie is based on the love triangle of the real life couple. So can any can anyone can guess this? You can type the answer in the chat box also, or you can speak out. Uh, Ah, I can give you one more okay. hint. It's not a new movie. Amit sir is what somebody to suggest. Silsila movie. Sir, when yeah. I had this movie when I was... Amitabh and Rekha, Rangbar Se. Yeah. Yes, very well done. <laughs> yes. Amit sir is good with math. Amit sir is good with uh, uh, movies. Rangbar <laughs> 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 Now, next song is a picture is on the Memu than Helen. And this movie is a suspense thriller movie. And there is a kind of the hashtag Black Lives Matter. Any guesses? Black Lives Matter. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hashtag. Great. great. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I think I had some network issues. I skipped the uh, music. <laughs> okay. Next is a is a kind of the song that we translate into the English. <laughs> okay, I know this. I think it's Dalgaya. When I know. Suraj Hua Madam. No, Suraj Hua Madam. Sky is melting. I think as a. Betehera Raha Zami Chalne Lagi. Zami Chalne Lagi, yes. I am stopped. The lens started walking. Okay. Good, good, good. Come to the next one. Gharta. I think today my network is slow. Okay. Now next song is, I just play the uh, tune of the song and you just have to guess which song is this. I think this one is famous. Recent Pushpa one. I think Reshma Mem or the all the non-Indian person not, uh, but it is a trend of the Indians. Oh, I have watched the whole thing. Every in the children, hour. every teenagers, every adults are starting doing this. It's a, every movie here, so don't worry. Yeah. Very catchy, very catchy. Yes, good activity. And, Again, this is a trend. Okay. Kacha Badam. Okay, yes, Kacha Badam. Badam. Yes, <laughs> Kacha Badam. Exactly. Yes, exactly. It's a Kacha Badam. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That's it. Uh, that's it's it so for today. Fun. Hope you are enjoying your appetizer. Reshma, ma'am, you can share now. Okay, I'm hoping that everybody can see the my view board from my side. Excellent. Yes, my board is pretty empty because everything that is there is inside all these tiny tools that you see on your right and left at the bottom. So um, I will not go much detail into each one of them. Some of them are pretty basic, like writing the text, filling the uh, color in, in which you also have the shapes option, which are very useful for elementary and uh, middle school students. We'll talk about a few of them in a, in a bit. Then we, all, we have a pen 
where you can click and you can change the opacity of the pen as well as you can change the size of your uh, pen or pencil that you are using. You can also change the color of uh, the pen that you want to use. Later, we have the select tool. We have a embedded browser inside it in which there are amazing websites that are already embedded. I'll, I'll go into it real soon. But the most important and exciting thing for my math teaching that I found was this magic box on the left. So you'll see there is a nice magic box. When you click on that, it opens up a bunch of things for you. So the first one is sticky note and the second one takes you to the tools, the math tools that I'm going to uh, show you today. So when you click on these math tools, you will see a clock, there is a timer, there is a ruler, uh, all the geometry instruments, a built-in calculator along with a coordinate plane, a compass, and the rest of the things. So the first thing that I wanted to show you and which has been a big problem for most of us math educators is typing equations online. So using the, uh, using the script that we really want to use, for example, we want to write 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now typing this out with a hyperscript and a, uh, writing the square and the chemical formulas, it has been really difficult. And this is the place where you can write with your hand. So I'm just using my stylus and writing it. You see, it is converted into the math equation. When you click on insert button, it automatically inserts the equation right into your uh, math whiteboard. So I'm calling it math whiteboard because I'm doing math here right now. Now, do you have a chance to change the size? You have a chance to do other things along with this, like uh, you, you can add an image here, you can change the color, you can uh, crop the equation that you made and so on. Let us try to uh, add some other equation into it. So let's try to do, um, we, a lot of us educators are always worried again about the trigonometric functions that we use. So it did not take it because my eye was not very clear. So let me write it again. So if I have to say sine square theta, over two cos theta. Now I, I realize that sometimes it does not take the exact thing, but you have a chance always to delete it, to um, erase it and rewrite the equation that you would like. You can clear it and move on to the next equation. So this is one of the um, very important thing that I found very clear that you don't really need to have any kind of add-ons. It's right inside your whiteboard. So whenever you want, you can just uh, use and clear. So I'm just going to use my eraser, clear the text that I had, and I'm going to show you another tool inside the white box. The next thing that I wanted to show you is construction. So I was working on my construction chapters just a few weeks back, and I used a couple of outside uh, websites to show my students constructions online. I wanted to also record my construction so that I can create a digital book, which I can add into my classroom so that my students can go back and revisit uh, how to do constructions. So this is one of the most uh, beautiful thing that I came across is having construction tools that are right, rightly available onto your whiteboard. Then, as I said, I can record. So there is a integrated webcam. There is a recording feature built in. So that probably Hemika will tell us later. So while we are teaching, we can easily record our short lessons and uh, download them into our browser or just put them into our uh, Google Classroom. My view board is integrated with Google Drive and Google Classroom. So you can directly upload all the uh, PDFs that you have, you can download the videos and post it back into your drive. So I used a ruler. I, you must have seen I changed the size of the ruler. So depending upon what grade level you are teaching, what uh, number you need, you can change the size of the ruler. You can also switch. So you don't need to rotate the ruler 360 degrees. You can just click on this up and down arrow and just change into inches to centimeters and whatever you like. So I'm just going to show a quick small construction of uh, drawing an angle using a straight edge and a compass. 
So I use the ruler. I, as soon as you use a ruler, use a pen tool, you can change the uh, opacity. And wherever you draw, it creates a straight line. So you must have seen that I just clicked on this and here is my straight line that is drawn. Now I want to use my compass. So I'm just going to pick up my compass tool. I'm going to drag it and put the point right where I want it. Now all my math educators would know how difficult it is for students to visualize. If I last year I used to show them on my screen, this is a compass, open it, hold it here. So now when I used this in my classroom, my students were following exact directions that I was giving because they could see what is happening and what exactly to do. When you have to draw something, you need to pick the pencil and just rotate it. So I created an arc right there. I'm going to pick up my compass again and put it right where I want the next arc to be. Once you make uh, fix that position, you click on the pencil again and then rotate. I'm done with my uh, use of compass. I can just remove it use the ruler again. Now there is a possibility that uh, you can rotate the ruler the way you want. So the two endpoints, you can rotate it, pick it up, put it where you like, and then use your pen again to complete your construction. So you can be more precise. I'm not very precise because these endpoints did not meet, which as a teacher is not very good for um, us and telling students, but you can be very precise when you teach that you try to match exact arrows and you connect both of them. So this is one of the tool. If you're done with the tool, you can just click on the cross and it disappears and goes back into our magic box. Going further, I would like you to, to show you something more interesting. Now, similarly, um, tell me in the chat, how many of our math educators or even students, teachers find probability one of the hardest subject to teach. So just let me know in the chat if uh, probability has been very easy for you, hard, it's always been very hard for me actually. Yeah, a lot of, lot of teachers will say, it is not hard for teachers to teach, but it is hard for students to imagine what is happening. Because when we just tell them, roll two dice and find out the probability of getting a sum of uh, more than six, okay? Every time there is no way that a child will have a dice with them. Every time you cannot roll a dice in the classroom so that all of your 30 students can come and see. So I love this idea of having a dice built within this magic box. So when you have a dice, so I went to the magic box, I clicked on the dice icon and I clicked on it. It's a pair dice, which is a pair six-sided figure with uh, exact one to six, no, six, six dots on each side. So when you click on this, it makes a sense that every time I roll a dice, there is a probability of getting a specific number out of how many possibilities. So you can talk and engage students into, what do you see? What is the maximum number you can get? What are the different numbers you can uh, you can think of getting on a given dice. And you keep rolling them to a point where they can start imagining things. I also tried this activity by giving them a log. So we did like 20 rolls in the class. Every student listed what the answer was. And then we came up with a, a specific combination of answers and we made a graph out of it actually. So this further can even lead to things like statistics which is a lot of data and students try to identify what exactly is going beyond uh, this activity. So now if you need a couple of more dices, there are questions where they say rolling a two dice and getting a sum of um, odd numbers, even numbers. Use the same thing, roll two dices in front of them. Well, if you have a very enthusiastic class, you can just change the color to show, get some excitement. And then you can still move on with a little more setting. So this is about math. You can keep adding dices. You can keep engaging students or asking them more and more uh, questions based on what you are teaching them. In our school, uh, or my, my colleagues, they used this dice basically with the elementary school students also. 
Because every time having math facts learned, like additions, subtractions, and other things, they just asked, they rolled the dice and said, what is the sum? Again, they rolled the dice and said, okay, who can tell me the sum and difference? Product, division. So a lot of possibilities that can be done using a set of facts. If you click on this settings icon, there is a there is an option that is called as letters. Now at the bottom you'll see A, and that is that is fun too. Now you have letters that are rolling in front of you. So as a, a though I'm teaching, um, I'm showing you math, but imagine if I was an English teacher, I would use this um, dice and say, okay, make words, three-letter words out of this, or use these vowels and make uh, words out of it. Start your sentence using these letters. So it's up to the teacher what possibilities she can do to engage the creative mind inside their uh, students, right? Now going back to the settings, the most exciting thing, and I'm sure everybody will love it, is the tool, uh, the, the tool here. So John Lok Hindi me pana kete, right? So you can fix things with this, you can change things. So when you click on this, you can actually change the images that are inside here. So um, I'm just going to show you a, a pretty uh, easy and fun um, thing that we can do is going back to the toolbox and I'm just going to search your image. So I'm just going to use a basic, what um, I saw is a emoji. So daily check in that you would say. Now, if I have to um, ask students, how are you feeling today? and you start picking out the different types of emojis. And you give your students a chance to identify their feelings. It's a great activity starter, just like Pyle did with us. Like having to know what the student is feeling just by utilizing the board that you are working on. Now, um, I'm just picking random images to start with. As a math educator, I tried using this as a review exercise. So instead of emojis, I actually used three-dimensional figures. So what I did was we were doing the chapter of volume. So I did was that I picked all different types of volumes because if you just give a whole assignment to our students, they are not really very happy to uh, work those examples. But if you make it fun, it works wonders. So I picked different um, three images and I said, okay, we are going to roll a dice, whatever comes up, that is the volume and surface area you're going to find out. And you will not believe my students still did like hundreds of um, practice sessions uh, on those particular rolling dice. I used two dices um, to be able to give more opportunity to the students. Uh, to be able to combine those two three-dimensional shapes. So if you get a cone in one of the dice and you get a, a cylinder in one of the dice, I said, okay, put them together and find the volume, the total volume. So it's a great way for them to visualize what math is in real life. So I just picked the images. You must have seen, I was just picking them and put, dragging them onto my dice. Now the images that are extra, I don't need. I, I'm just, I selected all of them and you get a trash option so you can clear your board. Let's go back and see how do they look. So click on the dice and tell me, how do you feel? Pick the dice. So isn't it exciting? Like you can change the image. You can come up with the ideas that you want to uh, utilize in your math classroom. So you can also change the background. You can make it opaque so that you don't have anything behind, but you just have your dice rolling. So these are uh, the two important things, uh, three things rather, uh, that I loved about the math whiteboard. Obviously, there is a graph paper that is always needed to show how the graph is. There is a compass if you are teaching them directions. So any level of uh, grade level that you are in, right, east, west, north, south, you're teaching them you're helping them find coordinates of those points. So all of these things can be done depending upon what the teacher is uh, visualizing. 
last thing that I wanted to show you is this toolbox at the bottom. So when I see, uh, so because I picked the color last time, so it's showing me color, but otherwise it usually shows as a square. There is a 3D object uh, option right here. So like I was talking about um, my students working on, um, my students working on 3D objects. Let me check. Uh, Ma'am, it won't be a drag and drop. You just have to uh, draw it on the screen. Just scroll it on the screen and it would appear. I think it is white in color. Is, is, is it? Oh, it's white color. That oh, is why it's yeah. not showing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. So let's say I'm drawing a cube. So once you draw uh, the cube, you have a cone. You have the object right there. And then you can use your uh, pen feature and talk to them about the slant height. You can talk to them about the height of the cone. And then you can talk to them about the radius and other things. So quite a great flexibility, I feel that the objects are embedded right there. You also have a chance to actually change the color of the objects, depending upon how you want uh, to shade it. You, you have the ability to fill in the color based upon what area of that object you're talking about. So let's say I'm talking about two uh, rectangular prisms kept next, next to each other. So showing them and um, you can change the direction, you can rotate them, and you can combine objects to give them more flexibility in their learning and understanding. So a lot of different uh, features. So something like this, I made it solid. So now you can talk about the volume of it and so on. So for math, this is what excite, excited me. And I'm going to try using most of them into my classroom. I already started using a few of them just for trial. My students were pretty excited and it made my work uh, really easy because instead of finding PDFs, instead of finding images and then dragging and dropping them, this made it pretty easy. So that's all from my side for showing math. There is still one last thing, sorry. Uh, when I was talking about the embedded browser because I used it, I really want to show our educators what is there. How many of the math educators go to Khan Academy, Tesmo, School Math, CK12? So you see all these apps, which I usually have it in my tab, because if I'm teaching them uh, quadratic equations, we were talking, my class was doing parabolas. So I always make them draw it and then we check on Desmos. So having these flexibility right within your whiteboard is absolutely amazing. So you can just type the equation and it creates a graph for you. So there is no need to switch screens, switch the boards and so on. So thank you so much. Please feel free to ask questions. Yes, Amit sir, we always refer to uh, Desmos. And Desmos gives pretty good activities as well. And it's right there inside. Uh, Somebody is asking, can we have images in the dice instead of numbers? Yes, we just did that. I know teachers will love to um, try this out. Can we use two dice simultaneously? Yes, we did two, three, four. You can add and delete. So a lot of flexibility in here. And um, feel free to keep asking questions and we'll try to answer. Thanks, Erika. And it was very really interesting. Yeah, it was really interesting to learn all the different tools that you showed to us. And I think it's a never ending story. It's just keep on learning for all the educators. There are a lot of things you have mixed up. You have learned so many things in different kind of tools. But what we just saw in this particular tool might be what is something, a combination of all, all those tools into one application. That's my view more. And it's, it's really uh, a very interesting way. And I think the most important and most best part, the last thing we just showed was integrating the Chrome into the whiteboard. That's the viewboard. So anything, everything is inside that application. You just don't have to switch on for the window. It's already there inside. Really brilliant. Yes. Great. And Thanks. I would sincerely like to thank Reshma, ma'am. While ma'am was presenting it, I was wondering if I could have learned in this format when I was a child. I think my maths would have been better. But I would have taken more interest in that. 
<laughs> yeah, because yeah, I, I always you know this, yeah. yeah, with numbers, but the way uh, you know, uh, ma'am engaged me with the uh, pictures and all that stuff. As a, as a learner, also, even at this age, I was finding it very interesting. So I'm sure for students out there who who probably have that maths phobia, all the ones who are really looking forward for such, uh, you know, such dimension learning, diamond three sixty degree learning. I think it's a great way to learn and explore. Thank you so much, Reshma, ma'am. Always so, welcome. Math is my favorite subject and I can talk for hours, but we are going to quickly give chance to Deepti, ma'am, and uh, yes. we'll see how she uses it for her math, uh, science lesson. Yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. So let's let's hear it from Deepti, ma'am, how ma'am uses my view both to ensure that her science sessions are taken care of. Okay, okay. I, I'm just sharing my screen, okay? So this is my view board, okay? Is my screen visible? Can anyone please show me some? Okay, okay, okay. So this is my view board. Uh, I just prepared it just few hours ago, okay? So here my first canvas and I want to show or teach my students the classification of element, okay? and. For a classification of element, all students uh, get to know about periodic table. And then um, I add some videos and blank periodic table and some of kind of exercise with the physical features of elements or chemical features of elements and uh, em where embedded Chrome browser I used and so on. So I just want to show you how can you make your whiteboard more and more interesting. Okay. So for that, I want, if I want to uh, teach my students uh, chemistry related uh, chapters. So for that, I just click on background management, your left hand side corner, there is a small icon for background management. So click on that particular icon and you will find that this type of background is ready-made available in my viewboard. You can choose them, you can choose any type of color, you can use, you can see here gradient colors are also available, you can choose them. You can choose image also and you will go with my viewboard originals, you will find subject wise template. You can see that I click on the down arrow and you will find the subjects, arts and humanity, geography, grids, health, holidays, math, organizer and science. I want science, okay? So these are the, these are the ready-made template or you can say canvas. And now I want to teach elements, okay? So I like any of chemistry type of uh, that canvas. So I will go for, yes, this one, okay? And when you click on that particular canvas, na, that three, um, what can say, uh, syntax pop-up and I, uh, if you want to apply this for all page or only for this page or cancel, I want this only for this page, okay? So you will see, I just, that my canvas is ready, okay? Now I want to add title and title is classification of elements. So I just click on that particular bar, that T button and click on blank area and I make it bold and I can also change the font. Okay, so I want some dark okay, this one impact. Okay, and I will give title class C classification of elements. Okay, now this is my title. Now I want something about element. Okay, so for that, I will go that embedded browser, click on that and you can see you, uh, if you want to uh, take a clip, 
you can use these clips and original you can uh, use from original i want some text about elephants so here i type elements okay and go for search okay now i open this wikipedia and i want this text okay so i just select this text up to this nuclei up to nuclei i just copy and paste it here okay hmm. so i just put break this sentence into smaller part okay and you will find that your text about element or what is element is ready now okay now i don't want to read this means i i am continuously speaking for 6 hours or for 6 lecture and i don't want to speak so for that my view board give this option or opportunity or boon xyz kuch bhi samajh lo ye aapke liye ek uh, kya bolte hai usko boon ko kya bolte okay ashirwad okay ha ashirwad hai aap samajh lo abhi i just want select this text and i click on this particular book icon and you can see the magic okay mujhe bolna nahi hai sab kuch yahi karega just listen can you hear anyone please give me thumb ma'am it's little slow so i think it's not clicked on play yet i think there is a latch of like 2 seconds or something can you hear this ma'am please share the sound of this from the main bar share the sound ma'am okay now may i continue ma'am yes ma'am you can continue okay so ideally now, this entire text will be uh, translated into speech. speech in english if you are regional teacher okay so you can translate this text into regional language also so for that i just click on this icon and i choose language that is my mother tongue gujarati okay and for that i want to document translation on so i just click on this button and document translation is on and now i play okay so this is the one of the best feature if any in any language you have um content you will translate in your particular language you want to teach the students okay now this is my first page now i want to teach element in periodic table okay so i go for second page and for that just click on this plus icon okay now further i go to this background and again my view board or original and i will go for periodic table my view board give also background sorry um, periodic table as a background okay so i will go there mm. yes this one and this page okay so you can see now my periodic table is as a background now i want to teach my students so i just click this marker and i teach them this is uh, this is first group this is second group and this is 13 group this is 14 group all periodic table has totally 18 group okay so i just um, Mm, teach my my student with this grouping that that this uh, element is lithium first group in sodium and potassium and rubidium and cesium and francium so you can teach with this background whole periodic table okay and you can see here uh, above of the periodic table there are uh, 
that boxes with different color that indicates that particular uh, element is what okay so if you find that the green color boxes they are reactive non metal and you you will find in group 1 that is alkali metal so on you will i i i just want to say that uh, by this ready made periodic table background you will teach student very 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 efficiently and effectively okay you you will find this atomic number atomic mass symbol and name and etc okay now i want that my student remember this periodic table okay so for that i just go for another background for one page and i want to show them how want to add particular video of periodic song uh, periodic table song in this background so i just click on box magic box go to youtube and i just type periodic table song okay and click and you will find the different periodic table i just select it and drag to my canvas and you will find the periodic table song okay now whenever i okay carbon nitrogen and oxygen and uh, fluorine and neon and sodium okay uh, whenever I, i i go to youtube okay and um, that particular in that particular video i find something interesting i just screenshot that particular portion okay for that i installed chrome uh, from chrome web uh, browser that is um, screenshot uh, extension okay in this case in my view board the my view board give, gives us facility to screenshot that particular uh picture okay jo jo yahan pe niche circle icon hai just click on it and your screenshot is ready look at this your screenshot is ready now you can also click on this keyboard and you will find that my periodic table is you can type also okay so this is the one of the best features from this now ye video ho gaya okay now i want to ask them or remember how to remember these elements group wise okay i will uh, show them i will show them video i will show them particular periodic table now i want how if they they can remember uh, or this periodic tables elements or or not so i just go for further background and my view original and and i just click on blank periodic table okay so uh, yes this one and apply for this space you will find now i taught them that is this is a uh, group number 1 this is 2 this is 13 this is 14 15 16 17 and 18 okay and i asked Ma'am, can you check your volume, please? I don't remember. Huh. I can go back side. Okay. So first group elements are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and tungsten. I have one short trick to remember first group of element. Okay. Just say li, then na, then k, then r b, then c s, then f r. So I taught my students. Um. Uh. in 10 standard just remember lina ki rabdi sabse first class now just remember li that means lithium na 
means sodium k means potassium rubidi means rubidium sabse means cesium and uh, first class means strontium so you can just choose any way to <laughs> that remember that particular uh, uh, periodic table and this is 18th number of group that is helium neon argon krypton xenon radon and magnesium so i told my students jaise hina nina aur karina ki xerox rangin aisa augi ne kaha so hina means helium nina means neon or means argon karina means krypton xenon uh, means xerox rn means rangin yani renon or magnesium means augi so you can teach them with this way and you just asked them just um, anybody tell me what is that this particular uh, box filled with which element anybody tell me li uh, sir answer aave chahiye <laughs> yes yes ma'am okay ओके दैट सेकंड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट वो यहाँ पे आएगा विच इज द सेकंड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन पीरियोडिक टेबल फर्स्ट नंबर इज हाइड्रोजन सो यू कैन यू कैन आस्क योर स्टूडेंट विद दिस ब्लैंक फॉर्मेट ऑफ पीरियोडिक टेबल ओके नाउ आई वांट सम एक्सरसाइज फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ओके so for that i i i i to uh, i taught them uh, about physical properties of elements etc okay so for that i go further for the background manager okay and i choose this canvas oh uh, yes okay and you can ask them ke uh, which elements are solid which elements are liquid or which elements are gaseous okay so they will they will answer you matlab ke any anybody wants to tell which is which element is solid suppose aluminum aluminum is solid okay liquid mercury okay wo hg hydrogenium which is liquid element and gaseous oxygen okay you will teach them by adding pictures so go to the that magic box click on the picture and just type suppose uh, aluminum okay i just type aluminum and i will find this 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 image just select particular one image and drag and drop it that particular box okay so you can minimize it and put it here okay same way you can find the image of mercury you can find the image of oxygen okay this is the another way to uh make your presentation or your way of teaching interesting and uh, just just believe me ke aapko kahi aur jaane ki zarurat nahi padegi you need not to go anywhere my view board give whole package whole package means whenever i uh, in lockdown period whenever i uh, i prepare any note okay whether it is in document or slide i go for google and um, this 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 is find the image and uh, use them and it it took so many so many so many hours for preparing my presentation and today within one or half hour i could prepare my presentation for this session so this is the one of the best thing i think and now i want to teach them about chemical properties of any element or compound okay so for that again i will go for science and select ye ye jo uh, this uh, canvas ready made canvas are very helpful for um, presenting your content okay everything will be there whatever you need okay so i just 
click on this okay and this now i want to need the ph value of that particular compound okay so i taught the students ke, uh, that below the below the seven that that uh, compound is acidic or be, uh, above the uh, seven that is alkaline compound or at seven that compound is neutral okay so i want uh, I, I i maybe i i taught them and then asked about uh, um, give me examples of uh, a particular acidic compound or alkaline compound okay so for that uh, i add i add square of <clears throat> on that particular name okay and i i, I would ask them give one name of uh, compound which is acidic in nature suppose they will tell us that acetic acid or vinegar or citric acid or i can ask them about a neutral that is water and alkaline that is uh, sodium hydroxide so uh, this is the um, we can teach them with chemical properties of element also and then if you want to ask any uh, question or you want to ready any quiz okay so go to the magic box and click on quiz and you can see here uh, these um, multiple options are popped up and multiple choice question there is true or false there is rating free format voting and random draw okay so some of my uh, some of question i uh, already made so first question i will like to play metals are always electron dash losser gainer maybe both or can't say what is the true answer so definition of metal according to their chemical properties they are electron losser so first one is uh, first option is correct same way you can ask your students true or false sodium is a soft and highly reactive metal true or false so answer is true so you can make this quiz also okay and now i want this my whole presentation to save anywhere okay so i just click on save option and my presentation is saved already it is ready made presentation i have already made and save it so you can this and i okay you can see here classification of element dot olf and yes save do you want to outright no so this is the what i want to to teach about chemistry portion and then i want to show you in few minutes about biology okay because there is a human body type of a subject so human body is made up of cells okay so i want to teach from the basic what is cell and etc and for that i have a uh, document ready in my in my pc okay so i click on document click on download and this is my document that is cell and cell organelle i just drag it here and it will take few few seconds to download it and okay you you can you can uh, that drag and drop okay you can see look okay ye drag and drop activity hai so you you will uh, you will uh, 
take from your computer or from your drive that particular portion also to your canvas okay so this will also we can do in this canvas so you can um, rotate it or x y z you can do anything with this so this is my part of explanation and it is okay okay now it comes here okay i just select this particular sheet and import as portrait okay and you you will find my content is already on this page okay so this is index and this is original i want to show you something very 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 important okay now i want to crop or take a screenshot short for, i want to crop this particular area and you can crop it very well thank you deepti ma'am thank you so much for sharing the insight how biology and chemistry sessions could be really interesting and ma'am has helped us out to know the numerous tools that we have on my view board and how the teachers can create content and ma'am also showed us an amazing um, uh, tool that is how to take uh, assessments right as teachers we are always in that dilemma if, if it is an online session if my learners are listening to me or not so i have an option of taking prop questions quick questions i can um, uh, you know uh, have uh, quick questions in between the sessions or as an assessment to know uh, how the session has been they can quickly um, you know uh, answer four or five questions that like ma'am has I had two questions so if, uh, as an uh, as a teacher i could have already drafted few questions and the beauty of this tool is i do not have to take those assessments again be it subjective or mcq questions whatever answers have been punched in by my students i have an option to export all of them to my system so i'm already ready with it the system will help me to evaluate the answers so as a teacher that gone i think gone are the days when we used to sit with those red pens and mark it all all night so uh, i think technology has uh made it a little easy for all uh, all of us so big thanks to deepti ma'am and reshma ma'am for telling us how maths and science could be really interactive and engaging mm -hmm. using technology like my view board thank you so much to amika this is really an indeed an uh, wonderful gesture from you sony uh, and i would just say that it was nice to uh, give away this freebies to the educators who attended this session Uh, I would definitely give it a call to all the educators who have attended this session. Just please try it out once. This is really a wonderful tool, and you have been given the, all the premium features to try it out. So that you know, it's kind of a beta testing. You can just say that if you are unable to use it, if there are any issues using that tool, you can just get back to Viewsonic, and they will also help you use that tool in a proper manner. So a um, lot of things to try out. and you know believe me when we just saw this amazing tool my we got we just oh god this got so much of features inside it and this is really worth for a virtual classroom so uh, go ahead try it out explore this tool uh, our effort here was to just introduce this tool and and just to show you how this tool can be used in your classroom so demo for the subject of math and science was arranged so thanks to reshma as well as dipti ma'am for showing us how we can use in this particular subject and Absolutely, much thanks to yeah. the time and the activity the engagement activity the warm up exercise we enjoyed it very well absolutely the google educator group community is amazing and we always try to bring in uh, something exciting which we try it out and we feel that more educators uh, will like it and thanks to hemika uh, for giving us uh, like showing us this platform and giving a freebie to all our educators who joined pleasure so, ma'am uh, the pleasure yeah. 
So I would also uh, request everyone, just like which also said that, do give it a try. I loved all that magic box features, which is a premium feature. So uh, you will enjoy using it and uh, try out different ways. And I would say Hemika and her team is really helpful. They just helped me set it up within on a phone call uh, one day. So uh, thank you so much, Hemika, for bringing this to our GEG community. Thank you, ma'am. It was indeed a pleasure to connect with you all. Thank you so much. Looking forward for more interesting learning from all the educators out there. Thank you so much. Thank you, one and all. We just cut through the session uh, this way. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 See you next time. Bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone.